A young child rushed to Dell Children's Monday night after being shot at an Onion Creek apartment complex. I don't know, it's kind of scary hearing about that kind of thing happen. Just before 10.30, police were called to the bridge at Asher Apartments off the 35 service road. According to initial reports, the child was shot by another child. Police only saying this incident involved juveniles. One child is receiving medical care. These investigations are confidential by law. That's suggests the shooter was in fact under 16, according to defense attorney Rick Flores. If the child that, that shot the other child was 10 years old or anywhere between 10 and 16, they could get prosecuted as a juvenile, but if they were under 10, it's usually something that they would go after an adult in the home. Meaning a parent or guardian in that apartment could face a charge of making a firearm available to a child under Texas law. That says that if a child is the one uh, who gains access to a readily dischargeable firearm, meaning that it's loaded, and it's that adult who was the one that failed to secure it or left it in a place where they knew that a child would gain access to it, then that's a crime where they can charge the adult as opposed to the person involved in the actual shooting. If a child is hurt or killed, that's a Class A misdemeanor that can carry a year in jail or a $4,000 fine. But there's a waiting period of seven days that says that they can't even arrest an adult within seven days. I spoke to some residents of this complex. They say knowing that this happened just feet away from their apartments, is unnerving to say the least. I mean, I'm definitely going to put my ring camera up now. This woman who didn't want to be identified says she just moved in last month and is now concerned for her safety. Definitely. And like I had kind of issues kind of similar in my last complex and I was hoping this would be different here. Gun safety advocates say this shooting underscores why every gun needs to have a lock. A lot of our children are ending up in these kind of situations, and so the most important thing we can do is make sure that every firearm is locked when it's not in use.